The brutal murder of Liam Smith was first covered on the channel in November of 2022. And today, two people have been convicted and sentenced for his murder. Michael Hillier from Sheffield was found guilty of murder and jailed for 33 years. And Rachel Fulstow was found guilty of murder and perverting the course of justice and jailed for 30 years. During the trial, it was revealed that Rachel had claimed that Liam Smith had sexually assaulted her and raped her after they had met on a dating app and she had told her new boyfriend Michael Hillier about the incident that had occurred the year before. Liam's family had always denied anything and Liam sadly isn't here today to be able to speak his mind. He was never or say his side of things. He was never arrested or charged or convicted of any sexual offences to do with Rachel or and he didn't have any sexual offence history and it wasn't revealed in court. Michael Hillier said in court that Rachel had told him what Liam had done, but Rachel denied this and she said that she hadn't tried to tell Michael that she wanted revenge on Liam and Michael Hillier had plotted for a long time and waited for a very long time to ambush Liam outside his home, shoot him in the face and cover him in acid in a way of revenge. <laughs> lot of white powder around him as well that seems to be sort of giving off gas of some description. He smells a bit bleachy. This was a proper whodunit from the start where I had a victim that we knew nothing about, no witnesses, uh, no suspect, no weapon, no motive and very little evidence to go on. CCTV footage, some from Liam, the victim's home address itself, and some from a bin wagon and a Asda delivery van captured the vehicle driven by suspect Michael Hillier on the day of the murder. And what that showed us was that that car was outside of Liam's home address for almost 10 hours before he got out and murdered Liam. We knew the build-up in that we knew the movements of the vehicle, we knew the obtained license plates and we knew how Liam had been killed, but we didn't know who'd done it. A couple of weeks into the investigation, we received intelligence from South Yorkshire Police that a vehicle had been stopped three weeks before Liam was murdered and in that vehicle was um, the R22 ORA plate. It was that that really unraveled this case, the thread that you pull. Um, but after that, was a, was a house of cards led to one person, to another, to another, to CCTV, to Michael Hillier, to Rachel Fullstone. Liam was murdered on Kilburn Drive in Shevington on the 24th of November 2022. Police alongside the fire service arrived and they established that Liam had suffered a fatal gunshot wound to the face. It was now known that Hillier had driven around the block and got out of the vehicle before pouring the acid onto Liam's body. A murder investigation was launched by the major incident team at Greater Manchester Police and they discovered that Rachel had searched for Liam on the internet and Hillier had purchased firearms online and practised his aim by shooting in his cellar. The court heard how Rachel had searched for Liam's businesses, his address and also searched for what does premeditated mean. They also looked up a Mitsubishi Shogun, which was the vehicle that was used to carry out the shooting. Michael Hillier travelled from Sheffield to Wigan on the 2nd of November. This was three weeks before Liam's murder and he carried out a reconnaissance mission where he did surveillance on Liam's address and Hillier lay in wait in his Shogun car fixed with cloned plates before returning back to Sheffield and Liam had no idea that he was being watched. Hillier did not return back to Liam's address until the 24th of November 2022. He waited outside for 10 hours. When he got out of his vehicle, he was in a high-vis jacket and he had a head torch on and he walked up to Liam's home and lured him out at 6.30pm. Liam came out of his house a few moments later and as he turned left out of his drive, he met with Hillier, who was inside the Shogun and armed with a shotgun. CCTV from a nearby address picked up the audio of the gunshot that proved to be fatal for Liam. 
Hillier drove around the block and took time to get the chemicals out and poured them onto his body. Afterwards, he was sulfuric acid and soda crystals. Michael Hillier and Rachel Fallstone were arrested for the murder of Liam Smith. Detective Chief Inspector Gina Brennard from the Major Incident Team said their thoughts are with the family of Liam and they would never ever get over what has occurred. On the night of Liam's murder, police and other emergency services tried their best to save his life, but it was clear that what had been done to Liam was unsurvivable. The investigation involved hours of CCTV footage and phone records that were carefully filtered down by officers and they also thanked the public for the response when they asked for CCTV and also dash cam footage. Liam's family said that it would never be the same again without Liam. He had the biggest and kindest heart and he was the nicest person. We would never understand why he was murdered. Liam did not do any of the things that he was accused of by Rachel and today the jury has seen through her lies and she has been convicted and sentenced for his murder. So I really appreciate you joining me again for this story and please pay your respects in the comments. I really look forward to hearing what viewers have to say and don't forget to send your stories to news at scarcitystudios.com and rest in peace to Liam Smith.